<laughs> Don't worry. Really, Alex, <laughs> Alex, had, Alex had a question. Uh, what's mm. what is bartender's handshake? What is that phrase? So the bartender's handshake, uh, they started calling for net the bartender's handshake. And it was uh, like a way to identify yourself to other bartenders um, mm -hmm. and for them to know you're a bartender. Because for net is <laughs> very much like the lore that John and I like bringing up from oh, Chicago. Uh, it, it is a unique taste. It is now less unique and more common, um, which is awesome. Uh, but it, it was because no one really drank Fernet. It just sat and except for bartenders. We know that it's a digestive. It's actually great to get your blood moving and help your stomach when it's a little upset. Um, it's really, really good for digestion after a big meal. It, it's a good product. I have no joke. It's Sorry, just. Sorry, I'm laughing because we just like went through this. Don't take advice from your bartender, and you're like, it's good for digestion. Oh yeah, good point. You're right. <laughs> but you can look all those. Hey, Actually, is, you should look up therapy. any any stuff you you can. But verify. Like, like we yeah, verify anything. But just like we talk about bitters, John, like bittering agents are there to actually. I know I'm teasing. Be a part of your yeah. We'll refer everybody to Chinese medicine specialists, uh, and they can they can do their Confirm. own research. Yeah, do your own research. Don't trust us. But the the idea is, um, bartender bartenders do not necessarily drink what guests of bartenders drink. Bar, bartenders, right? Especially advanced cocktail bartenders, are always looking for the next great flavor. And they are obsessed with extreme flavors that are not mainstream, just by you need the definition of their craft. Right. Yeah. So like Fernet is gonna is a extreme flavor, not in the traditional Western palate, and um, bartenders are gonna obsess about it. And then some, you know, a, 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 a guest is gonna come in, a random guest. They're probably not gonna get it. Don't serve it to them. Right. But a bartender comes in. A fellow bartender comes in. They're going to like it because they obsess about these flavors too. That is so articulately yeah. put, John. Amazing. Well, well put. That's exactly. We're going to have to make these. We're going to have to make these bottle covers, <laughs> these bottle backs together. Descriptions. It sounds like. Yeah. Because you you you, yeah. you, <laughs> you yeah. bring a refinement to my uh, to my explanations that they that was that was amazing. Well done. And then and then you and then when it gets turned into a movie, you do the voice acting. Right. <laughs> Perfect. I don't know, John. Your voice is great. Love too. it. It's true. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, we. Uh, what was I gonna say with that? Shit. I don't know. The handshake. Malort is a handshake. There. It, oh, because uh, it's Malort actually is. Oh, that's what it was. It was. So, like a lot of times, people try and buy, and a lot of, especially not here, and uh, people from out of town in Oregon, because every bartender here knows that they can't do this. Um, but people from out of town will try and buy a shot, uh, a shot of Fernet for themselves and for you. So that that's the other part uh, of the, the handshake. Yeah, exactly. Is that like you both have, you can both enjoy this together. So if anything, we've I, if I've ever done it before and somebody like insists, I'll let them put it on their check and then I'll have it at the end of the night instead oh, of nice. my like shift drink or something like that. <laughs> but some places don't let you do that. So all. have you ever worked at a place that does the whole? Remember like back when you used to remember back in the day when you used to eat in a restaurant and they had like you know at what's gonna call it? Um, oven and shaker. Yeah, at oven and shaker. You could like buy a six pack for mm -hmm. the staff. Do you feel like it was an actual six pack or they it was just like a way to get like an extra tip? Or do you think it varied by the night? Like, do you get what I'm saying? It's illegal like, to be an extra actual six pack. So it was never. It's it was never, never an actual six pack. No. So it was always just like, hey, give them a little extra. It's always the equivalent. You legally can't. What happens if you have somebody on staff who doesn't? Who somebody who's part of that kitchen staff who I, which I fucking love this. And when I first heard about this, I was like, yes. But I thought it was true too until I started like managing or more realizing like the legalities of everything but that is that you you can't force somebody especially you gotta you a lot of people might be a recovering alcoholic or maybe never wanted to drink either and that's basically like you have to take this mm, in lieu of pay bought, yeah. like or or not or or basically you miss right. out on the same benefit that the rest of your co is that an order and that's thing? discrimination no that's an everywhere thing it is yeah, that's not to say they can't use their $2 to 
to give back to the bar to have their shift beer at the end of the night or something like that. But they have everybody has to be afforded the same opportunity to to benefit from that. From someone giving, like a from tip. someone giving something. Yeah, it's the but same. But even as though the back tip. of the house isn't necessarily tipped, it's the same as a t- it's the same as a tip though. Like it's the same as it's a gratuity. It's a gift. So so it can't be like a gift of alcohol. Mm. Not but no, not really bought by the place. Gotcha. No. We've circled around a lot around my dad tonight. <laughs> just this conversation. Because, like, the way John described, like, that's how my dad always felt. My dad was an executive chef. And so going out to eat for my dad was with my dad. <laughs> and for my dad was always, like, very, like, stressful <laughs> to be with him. Because, like, he's... Su- like, you described the bartender as having, mm. like, a different level of, like, expectation. Like, my dad always had, like, a higher level of expectation for, like, food and, like, how it was prepared and it was like never necessarily enjoyable. Um, but like he could be wowed. And like I can think of a lot of places where like, and when he was wowed, it was like the best thing ever, right? Cause he was like, he, you knew that it was like it hit like another level. Um, but yeah, then my dad also was a recovering alcoholic and it, and was a chef and couldn't have got booze. If, yeah, if someone bought it, ba- so that, that didn't mean back in the day they didn't do that, but like well, legal, legally they now. They did lots they, of stuff back yeah, in the day. Yeah, they did a lot of <laughs> <laughs> But they yeah. still do lots of no, stuff. That's 